Here's the big picture, and then I'm getting into the news. In their own words, the globalists see humanity as a wild, out-of-control, ugly, deformed scourge of 7.5 billion people that must be controlled, engineered, and prepared to be phased out because the new technologies are coming and the elite are going to live in this Elysium-type, heavenly, moonraker, uh, meets Zardoz world. And again, I know our listeners know that, but we have to get the message of end game, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, that is already a seven-year-old film, out to everyone. Because that documentary is even more powerful now and freaks people out when they learn it was made in 2007 because just what we said would happen within that time frame happened in the film and then we go further in the film and tell you what's going to come after that because the globalists have a blueprint and they just tell the unwashed masses that nothing exists. Fluoride's good for you. There's nothing bad in the vaccines. No one's listening to you. No one's tracking you. I love you, I love you, welcome to Costco, I love you. To quote idiocracy. The public is being stunned and dumbed down in preparation because the elite openly are moving and that's why they're collapsing the border because they have treaties, they have secret agreements, much of them public and just as General Petraeus said in the London Telegraph last Wednesday, we covered it here, He's, they said, what comes after America in a public symposium? And he said, North America. And that means North America, not where a Mexico evolves, becomes a freer state, and Canada does, and with high tech, it just becomes we're all open. No, no, no. We become a giant Mexico City. We become a giant failed system, forced into compact cities, while the elites live in high tech reservations in the beautiful countryside. That's their model with ground-based Elysiums. It's all being thrown in your face with predictive programming. And, and this is the debate we should be having. And now they're moving on every front. I've told you over and over again, as we come towards this flashpoint, you're gonna start seeing major proxy wars, major dollar devaluation, major global currency devaluations, building on the crisis while the globalists ride the crises they've helped create and exacerbate into global governance, world taxes, world regulations on the ashes of what was there. And you'll still have euros, you'll still have dollars, you'll still have yens, you'll still have yons. They'll be all globally based in an SDR strategic drawing right based system that the globalists control and most importantly tax. They don't just want the power to issue and control the currency and be able to buy the world up with it. It's a magic trick, like an unlimited credit card. The Federal Reserve, which is the European bank front here in the United States, the Rothschild bank front on record, has an unlimited credit card, but it's even better. They get all the goods and all the ideas and all the treasure and all the real estate and all the treasure hoards and all the art. You get the debt. When you bank or bail out them, you suddenly are their debtor in Spain or the United States. That's why there's now in the Fed rallies all over Europe where they call it in the Fed. They call their private banks the Fed, knowing it's the same octopus. You can read that article up on Infowars.com. Giant ones everywhere. People in Europe know because they're in the Depression. In Spain and Portugal and Greece and Ireland and everywhere else. They now know, ladies and gentlemen. And so as all of this unfolds, as all of these crises accelerate, the globalists are setting up the police state to try to suppress the public, but that's not gonna work if the public looks past Obama, past Boehner, past Cameron, past Merkel, past all of these puppets to the globalists that of course they wanna meet in secret. Of course they don't want you to know what they're up to and doing. And just say, there is no global government. There is no man behind the curtain. Move along. These aren't the droids you're looking for because then that forces a debate and it's game over. Everything is in this article.
if you understand this headline, you understand reality. And see, I'm suddenly seeing newspapers everywhere, even the New York Times, even the Wall Street Journal, go, did you know that the DEA creates fake cases and fake, fake witnesses because they're really listening to everything? in live time and when they bust drug dealers, they don't want the public to know they're in the NSA. And so they then create a fake case for the indictment, but they don't even wanna do that now. They're just getting the federal courts to rule. They can listen without warrants to everybody. See, but the bigger story is the sheeple say, well, you know, they're doing that to keep us safe from drugs. No, 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 no. They only bust the cowboys, the small level operators the whole system is, again, to create monopolies and markets. So the globalists control the issuance of the currency and credit, but more importantly, with the new global SDR, they want $100 trillion in taxes per decade in one Tobin digital money use transfer. Once they make you go cashless, like Israel and England have both announced they're forcing cashless phased in within five years, they're penalizing cash, billboards saying it's dirty and bad, why are they getting rid of it? Because they don't need cash for black market anymore because they'll just digitally ignore their black market. They want to shut you down and track everything you do and be able to raise taxes at levels to where you can't stop anything they're doing. Go read the article on Infowars.com. UK begins beta testing cashless society. That's why the ultimate sin will be selling oranges or watermelons on the side of the road or corn. The ultimate sin will be buying cheese from Amish. The ultimate sin will be a lemonade stand. As the media says, we're talking arrest. You don't do it because they're going to shut everything down. You've seen beef prices more than double. You've seen overall meat prices up 40 plus percent in the last year. You go into a diner, it used to be 10 bucks to eat, it's 20 now. You know why? They're devaluing the dollar. And they're shutting down the farms and ranches everywhere. You can't do business. You can't survive. It's all rigged. Beef prices are record cost. You'd think ranchers would be rich. It's all rigged with the computers. There aren't real auctions anymore. I had a stack of news on that yesterday. We guys pull out the stack where the World Bank sounds alarm on sharp rise in global food prices, AFP. What does that mean? It means there'll be riots, there'll be revolution, with the globalists controlling and steering the social networks to shut down the revolutions they don't want and to, and to push the communist and socialist ones they do, which get people deeper into the trap. Consumer price rise sharply in May. The Fed say it jumped 0 0.4 after rising 0 0.3 in April. Does anyone believe it only went up 0 0.4 in a month? And 0 0.3 before that. Does anyone believe in the last year it went up 2.1%? Food prices, ladies and gentlemen, are exploding. And again, the media is like, it's good you're poor now. It lowers your carbon footprint. It's good all this is happening. It's good everybody can't, you know, has to carpool or can't afford to go to the park anymore. But they built us in sprawl where we won't survive now as they turn us off. It's designed to destroy us, not to make us more efficient. That's why Petraeus you know, said, it's good that we're bringing in all these illegals. We need a, a, a bigger population because you kill 53 million Americans with abortion. So you replace them with unskilled women with three or four kids or people with diseases. No, no, they're meant to be attached as welfare queens to then become part of the new political class to bankrupt the country. We have the documents, not just Cloward and Piven, but Agenda 21. But see, when he goes and talks to a group of sub-globalists, the political right wing in England, Petraeus says, North American Union's the future, and we need immigrants to build us up. Yeah, immigrants we do need, but not to be put directly on the government trough to bankrupt things further. Central American migrants are on a word-of-mouth exodus to the U.S. Word-of-mouth, Biden just said they're going to legalize yesterday and give citizenship as DREAM Act to all the kids. Who begin? Children of the state. Women. You run into trendy women, and they're just literally, I don't need men. I don't like men. I'm going to be successful. M defeating men makes me successful. Oh, yes. What a, what a way to run a society. They just told black women 50 years ago, we'll give you a check if there's no man in the house. She didn't like it, but she did it.
now the women are like, there's no man here. That's right, there'll be no man there, and he won't have you either when you're 65 years old and they're euthanizing your butt. And now single mothers are turning to online prostitution as that's the only way they can make money. In fact, all these government state employees getting laid off, that's what they're turning to. You see, oh, wasn't it all a great plan they had? Isolating us, making us artificial narcissists, artificial sociopaths, breaking us down. And so now they're going to move. You're about to see globally, in fact, you're beginning to see it, the proxy wars in Russia, the proxy wars in Europe, the proxy wars in East Asia, the proxy wars in South Asia, the proxy wars in the Middle East, the proxy wars in Africa, and the public is so dumbed down that Dick Cheney and Dianne Feinstein and all the usual suspects can say, see, we do need checkpoints and homeland security and increased funding. We need to continue all these programs that take your rights because Al Qaeda is everywhere. And Cheney went on to say there's a whole bunch of groups worse than ISIS. Don't worry about Iraq. Don't blame him for that. No, no, no. There's all these new groups. Yeah, out of Saudi Arabia, funded by our government, NATO, the door opened. Of course, Obama's in the news today saying there's no amount of American firepower that's going to be able to hold.